Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Uh, we're wrapping up a great week here at uh, in Prague, um, here at the Mandarin Oriental for final kind of a little bit of lunch before taking off for the week. Uh, we definitely thank you all for joining us. Uh, we want to also thank all the developers and investors and uh, um, key real estate people for meeting up with us uh, over the last week. Also, the IBF um, barbecue um, last night, great event. It was great to meet everyone, uh, everyone in the market that was here. So fantastic event. Um, we're working on our on all of our events that are always have uh, always have Czech Republic involved in in Prague. We have won our CRE awards uh, October twentieth, which is in uh, Budapest and covering the region, and also our CEE investment awards, which is in uh, Warsaw, also of course covering uh, covering Czech Republic as well. So a lot going on, a lot going on on retail here which is good to see, and also with our uh, retail marketplace, which will take take place next year uh, in May. So it'll be great to uh, get everyone involved in that. Um, so a lot going on here. We really had a great week and great to see everybody after, uh, after a short break of uh, not visiting. Um, a lot of our clients here and friends, so good to be um, back, and, back and seeing everyone's doing so well. Uh, we'll take a short 20-second <clears throat> break before we go to Winston uh, Norman, our editor-in-chief of EuropaProperty.com, and checking out the uh, the news for the week here, the um, uh, final news for the week. So we'll be back, and we'll see you, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. And just hold on, uh, uh, we got a, a little break showing a little bit about our CRE awards, which is in uh, based in uh, Budapest at the Intercontinental, and then in Warsaw on the 27th of October at the Intercontinental in Warsaw. So enjoy the weekend, and we will see you Monday morning, and here comes Winston. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards, the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary, and covering the surrounding region. After a year of online events, now we are finally able to meet face-to-face -face with, with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, CREAwards.net or EuropaProperty.com. Good Friday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And you have highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website for today. And today we'll start with uh, a report from a recent conference by the Urban Land Institute where um, Panelists concluded that affordable housing is one of the biggest challenges that the market faces right now, fueled by growing rates and inflation. Uh, cities need urban regeneration to provide thriving neighborhoods, and this needs to happen in close cooperation between the public and private sectors. And according to Soren Rodian Olsen, Managing Director of Logi Centers at NREP and Chair of the Urban Land Institute Poland, he says, we need to reinvent the neighborhoods and make the urban footprint better for the people in collaboration between public and private sectors and not forgetting the net zero challenges. Uh, Marco Dal also, uh, a renowned urban regeneration specialist, he shared his experience and said, studying the past is important because cities follow trajectories that can lead to prosperity or poverty. And uh, Jan Jans Kramer, uh, Mikhail Sen, Director of Urban Development at NREP and former Lord Mayor of Copenhagen, uh, presented the steps of transformation of the capital of Denmark. He said, transforming the city is not a quick fix, but a long haul. And moving on, and Patricia has completed the first close of a new 100 million euro venture capital fund, Sustainable Futures Ventures. Uh, the initial close includes funds from a range of investors, including pension funds and family offices, as well as strategic real estate operators and investors. And according to Wolfgang Eger, he's the CEO and founder of Patricia, 
Reducing our carbon footprint in construction and real estate is the biggest challenge of our time. So funding the companies that are at the cutting edge of sustainable innovation is absolutely essential. The newly launched fund will target investment in technology companies that enable a more sustainable built environment and will focus on the late C to series B technology companies globally with a strong focus on Europe. And finally for today, uh, according to Cushman and Wakefield, uh, in comparison of the 26 European cities, Prague is placed second in the CE region in terms of pricing of fitting of an office. Uh, still, with uh, Euro 1000 being the average cost per square meter in Prague, it's half of what is the standard in top German cities and the UK where the average cost exceeds 2000 euros. And according to Glyn Evans, Head of Design plus Build, EMEA, Cushman and Wakefield, fit-out costs are an integral part of the decision-making process affecting a company's planning and budgeting. As these, along with staff costs and rents, need to be factored in in the early stage of these strategic decisions, we've considered and compared top European locations to guide occupiers through defining their office relocation budgets. With occupancy still 90% in quarter one 2022, with Prague office market is a healthy one, with many companies relocating, expanding or downsizing, which means refitting their offices. And those are the highlights from the EuropaProject.com website for today. Have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday morning. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.